Okay, so we're going to have a look at 2014 C3. And question 3 says find fx over gx. So take your fx, which is this one here, and you're dividing it by your gx. So note the way I've laid that out. Now hopefully you know that whenever you're um, doing that, you have to factorise your fractions. So this one here starts off 2x squared, so it's a 2x and an x. 15 is a 5 and a 3, and I want the outsides and insides to give me a 1. So if I put a 5 there and a 3 there, I get 6x and 5x, so I want a minus x. So it's minus 6x plus 5. Now I'm going to do this all in one go, so I'm going to turn this upside down and multiply. That's a difference of two squares. So 2x minus 5, 2x plus 5 all over x minus 3. That cancels there, and those two cancel, leaving you 2x add 5 twice. So we can just put it as a wee squared in there. Question 4 from the same paper is um, express it in terms of partial fractions. So 4 part 1. And you have 2 over x squared minus 1. So with partial fractions, you always want to factorise first. So that's a difference of two squares. So it's x minus 1, x plus 1. Then split it up. a over x minus 1 plus b over x plus 1. Then do the tops. So we need an extra x plus 1 here. And we need an extra x minus 1 over here. Put x to be minus 1. So this is 2. That disappears. And you get minus 2b. So b is minus 1. Then put x equals 1. So you have 2 equals 2a, so a equals 1. So therefore your expression is a plus b, which is minus 1, x plus 1. Now right, we can have a go at, I uh, just want to continue on with this question. So part 2, if I could look it up here. Hence or otherwise, when it says hence, you're going to use your previous answer. So it's 1 over sec theta minus 1 minus 1 over sec theta, add 1. Now, it's a hence, so we're going to use the previous answer. But if you look, your previous answer is here. The only difference between this line and this one is instead of x, you've got sec theta. So up here, it equals, instead of x, I've got sec squared minus 1. And if you can remember your trig identities, 1 plus tan squared equals sec squared. So if I bring that over, tan squared is sec squared minus 1. So that's 1 over tan squared, which is 1 over tan squared is cot meter. So it's 2 cot squared, which is your right hand side, which is what you want it to do. Now, B part 1, I'm going to do a bit of work in this question. B part 1 is expand 1 plus 5x to 2 over 5 up to x cubed. So, just working that out, 1 plus n x plus n, m minus 1, 2 factorial x squared. And I do one more, so it's n, m minus 1, m minus 2, 3 factorial x cubed. So it's 1 plus 2x. I've got 25 and then 25 here, so they cancel off, those 2's cancel off giving me a minus 3x squared. Same principle, 3 fives in the bottom row times 3 fives. Then 3 factorial is 3 times 2, which is that, leaving me it's a positive 8. So it's positive 8x cubed. Now, the second bit of this question is a similar one, only you've got a negative x. So 1, that's a negative, minus 2x. Negative x squared is still positive. It doesn't change this one, so it stays. Negative x cubed changes your sign. And then part 3, you're taking both of your lines and you're adding them together. So it's the sum, it's like the sum, because it's nicely laid out there. I can see it quite nicely. So 2, they disappear. They add up to give you minus 6x squared and they disappear and if you look at the question here it says the sum equals 1 and 7 eighths 
So 1 and 7 eighths equals this. So just working with your fractions here. Bring this across over here. So it's 6x squared equals 2 minus 1 and 7 eighths. So 6x squared equals 1 eighth. So x squared equals 1 over 48. So x equals plus or minus the square root of 1 over 48. And uh, square root of 48 is 4 root 3. Now I would never leave a root in the bottom line, so you would rationalise that by multiplying it by root 3 over root 3, giving you a nice answer of x equals plus or minus 1 root 3, or just root 3 over root 3 times root 3, so 3 times 4, 12.